Welcome to this free immigration help channel. Today is August 8, 2024 and in this video we're going to talk about the brand new visa bulletin that just came out for September 2024. As always, I'm going to mention, as I always mention in the beginning of every video on this channel, I am not an immigration attorney. This is not legal advice. All the information provided in this video and all other videos on this channel is directly from official government sources. In this case, we will be dealing with travel.state.gov, which is the official government website for US Department of State. So I haven't seen the brand new visa bulletin yet. So let me open up this new window and I'll open up the August 2024 visa bulletin in a separate window. And we're gonna compare the two. I don't know, like I said, what the movement is. Uh, but before we get into, into that, let me briefly go over what the visa bulletin is and how to read it now in this particular uh, section of the videos because most of the people that are subscribed to this channel um, they have cases related to family uh, family immigration family reunification cases i-130 cases that's why in this particular uh, one we're going to talk about the family preference categories but you can also look at the visa bulletin and you might have a need to look at the visa bulletin if you are have an employment based immigration case going or diversity visa um, the dv lottery the green card uh, lottery uh, case going as well but like i said this is uh, for family only so there are four family preference categories f1 there is F2, but there's two subcategories for second preference category, F2A and F2B. There's F3 and F4. Uh, depending on the relationship, you will be in one of the four family preference categories. F1 is for unmarried sons and daughters who are over 21 of US citizens. The second, F2A, is spouses and children of permanent residents. Children, obviously, under 21. F2B, unmarried sons and daughters over 21. F3, married sons and daughters of US citizens, and F4, brothers and sisters of adult US citizens. Um, again, if you are married to US citizen, then you are in immediate relative category, you don't need the visa bulletin. If you are a parent of US citizen, then you are in immediate relative category and you don't need the visa bulletin. If your child under 21 of US citizen, you are in immediate relative category and you don't need the visa bulletin. All right, so we're done with the categories. Now, if we're looking at the main information, the visa bulletin itself, you will see that there's two graphs. Graph A, final action dates, and graph B, dates for filing. Now, most of you already know that when you start your I-130 case, there are several steps that are involved in the process you know, to complete your family reunification. First, you go through the approval by USCIS. Once you're approved, once your I-130 is approved with USAS, it is transferred to the NVC, National Visa Center, for documentary qualification. Now, because a lot of these categories, they have quite a long time, you know, waiting, people waiting for, for, for a long time for the availability of the immigrant visas. These NVC portals, a lot of times they are locked until a certain date. So, if you are looking to find out information when your NVC portal is going to be opening up, you're looking at the graph B dates for filing. If you want to know the full length up until the immigrant visa is going to become available, you're looking at the graph A final action dates. The graph A shows the total length of the backlog. So now that we, get, we have all of that out of the way, Let's start, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the graph A, final action date. I'm gonna bring it to the same level. This is September, 2024. And let's start with August, 2024 right here. I'm gonna highlight, we're gonna start with F1. Um, obviously the chargeability areas, they're self-explanatory. If you're from one of these countries, China, India, Mexico, or Philippines, you're looking at appropriate column at appropriate um, cell in this tab, right? In this table. Uh, but if you're from any other country that is not China, India, Mexico, or Philippines, you're looking at all chargeability area, all right? Okay, so F1, sons and daughters of US citizens who are over 21. Let's start. So this is August, 2024. 
September. So nothing for all chargeability area, no movement for all chargeability, no movement for China, no movement for India, no movement for Mexico, and no movement whatsoever for Philippines. So unfortunately, no movement at all for F1 category. All right, let's highlight the F2A. This is August 2024. So F2A in August, currently we're in August, so it's on 15th November 2021. Let's see September. No movement for all chargeability. No movement for China. No movement for India. For Mexico no movement and for Philippines no movement wow that is not looking good okay F to B that is unmarried sons and daughters of permanent residents now first May so this is September I highlighted September this time let me highlight the August as well so this is August we are in August right now we are on May 1st 2016 all right September no movement China no movement India, no movement on September. Mexico, no movement for September. Philippines, no movement. In fact, looks like the rest of the A, graph A, I don't see any movement at all. Wow. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, so from August to September, Visa Bulletin, absolutely no movement for anyone in any chargeability area for any category for the whole graph a yeah, this is very this is terrible honestly this is really bad uh well let's take a look at the graph b i mean graph b is is dependent upon graph a so let's see if we can spot quickly i'm not going to go through each and every one of these let me get to the same level there you go so no movement for the f1 china india mexico same things philippines same things no movement for f2b no movement for f3 and no movement for f4 wow wow that has been the worst Visa Bulletin Edition in the past, I think, a while since the whole pandemic thing, whatever closures and stuff. This has been the worst one so far because it, w it was at least some movement, at least for some categories, at least for certain countries. The previous, the August, between July and August, I have it uploaded on the channel. Um, the, it was really bad, but there was some movement for some of the categories, for some of the countries. This one, September, from August to September, is no movement whatsoever. And it's really bad because there is really no reason for this, for not having any movement. Because embassies around the world are open, U.S. embassies, the, e, the visas supposedly are supposed to be being issued there is no closures NVC is open USAS is open and not to see any movement at all the only thing I can hope for and I'm sure you as well is that potentially in the next few months maybe October November we will see some significant movement for some of the categories to catch up and just there was no I mean no updates but again that's the reason why we have the visa bulletin in the first place for us you know the immigrants to look at it and get the updates and yeah not seeing any updates it's it's pretty discouraging so yeah apologies for not good news at all uh, if you have any questions post them in the comments below and I will try to address them uh, I mean you see it's to me it was just as much of a shock as it is to you and I'm an immigrant myself and I do have a family petition myself so this to me is personal you know uh, so yeah all we can do is just hope for for better news in the next few visa bulletin editions we're gonna have to wait another month to see what's going on for October but this is it as of right now yeah sorry for the bad news but 
yeah hopefully this was helpful like i said if you have any questions on what's what's what or how to read it i do have a q a section on this channel where i go through all of the comments and i answer them so hopefully that will be more helpful than this uh, god bless everyone thank you for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one